Well, hello, it is day one of our new challenge and I have actually learned that I will be traveling for part of this challenge. So some of these videos are going to be on location, I guess you could say. Um, but to start, we, if you didn't get your printable packet, there's a pinned post in this group that has all the information for how to sign up. If you signed up and didn't receive it, it's most likely that it's in your email inbox. And the way the sign up works for this packet is you click confirm and download and it downloads directly to your computer. So if you click confirm and download and then you're emailing me saying I can't find it, it's already saved to your computer somewhere you have to locate it. If for some reason you didn't get it, you can go ahead and sign up again. Unfortunately, I'm not able to research um, into your email and figure out why you can't find it. So I'm sorry about that, but it should be pretty easy to find. Um, this is the packet this time. And this one's a little different. So the way this challenge is going to work, I'm gonna give an in-depth explanation today. And then as I said, I'll be traveling a little bit unexpectedly, so I will be um, just kind of checking in and letting you guys know what we're doing for the day. I may not have the packet with me. So this is the first page, just the cover sheet. Day zero should have happened yesterday or in the previous few days. Uh, make your shopping list, go shopping and set aside prep time for these days. So the next three days we're gonna be prepping and then following the prep, we're gonna be eating. Um, and the email that you got should have explained that. Now, I've had a few people say, Jen, where's the shopping list? That's why I put it on here. Make your shopping list based on what's in this packet. Okay, so included, this is day one. This is our S meal prep day. Before I get into this, I'm going to explain why we're doing this challenge, okay? So as a coach, one of the tools that I have found that helps people with stubborn weight, not maybe more than other things that I tell them to do, but something that definitely helps a lot is that once a week, I have a lot of my clients and a lot of you have been in my boot camps before. We'll do a solid day of S, a solid day of E and a solid day of FP. This is something that was in the original Trim Healthy Mama book, the big book as a weight loss tool. And what we've found immediately after that, you go back to freestyling. But what we found is that I've seen it over and over again, that this is just something that helps. It's something that lets you see how your body reacts to each different fuel type. It allows you to get a really good handle on how these fuel types are supposed to be eaten and the intent behind why we do these different ones. It's just a really useful tool. I have had people with stubborn weight that did not budge. I have some other tricks up my sleeve, but with this tip, it did not budge until they started doing this on a pretty regular basis. So that's what we're doing. We're going to have a solid day of S meals, a solid day of E meals, and a solid day of FP meals. We're building some prep ahead into that system so that we can just see how easy it can be to have a couple of things ready to go to help you stick to the plan. So what we're doing, day one is going to be an S prep day. We're getting our S foods ready. Day two is an E prep day. Day three is an FP prep day. And then day four is our solid S day where we're eating only S meals. Day five, we're eating only E meals. And day six, we're eating only FP meals. So the idea is to stick to the plan, of course, but we're gonna have three days of prep followed by three days of eating. While we're prepping, of course, we're sticking to the plan, just eat how you normally do. It's just to make those three solid days a little bit easier on you. So for today, the S meal prep day, of course you're sticking to the plan, of course you're eating whatever you had normally planned to eat today. Um, but I pulled out, and I've never done this, but I pulled out a full prep session from my book, Easy Low Carb Meal Prep in Minutes. And this book is, um, it has nine different prep ahead sessions to help you just do all of your meal prep. It works for your S meals for THM. But if you have in this book, it includes a 15 minute session. It includes um, 30 minute sessions. It includes hour long sessions. Just however much time you have maybe on the weekend, it gives you step by step instructions and recipes to help you get prepped and ready for the week. So um, here's this page, this is our S meal prep day. It says to follow the meal prep packet in the following pages, that's what this is. So I'm gonna show you what this meal prep pack looks like. So there's nine of these in the book. I'm giving you guys one of them for free in this download. Um, this is our 30 minute prep pack. So today we're gonna spend 30 minutes. We're gonna make easy hard boiled eggs, bacon chips, low carb chocolate milk mix, and batch cooked ground beef. Okay, so it tells you exactly what to do, the instructions to follow for this 30 minute prep session. It gives you the recipes. So I've got one, two, 
three, four recipes here to follow. And it tells you how to follow them to get everything done for day one. And that's all that we're doing today. It's day one. We're spending 30 minutes. We're prepping our S foods so that in a few days we'll have our S day pretty easy to follow and ready to go. Now, along with this challenge, you should be, I know we're just prepping today. You should be sticking to the plan. Remember, while you're doing this, this ground beef recipe does not just make enough for one meal. So you can eat some of these things over the next few days. Just save enough for your S day. And when we actually get to the S day, which is on day four, I'll show you. Sorry, I'm gonna pull it up here. Day four is our solid S day. And I planned your meals for you for this day. So you're going to have scrambled eggs, the low carb chocolate milk, a snack lunch with all the foods I listed there. You're gonna make tacos using that pre-cooked ground beef. And um, these, these bold underlined um, meal types are clickable recipe links. Anytime you see that in one of my downloads, it means you can click on it and it will open the recipe. And a note that you should have that. So that's for day four. Today, we're just getting ready. So if you've got 30 minutes, you should be able to prep enough to at least have one day of meals completed. Um, my other announcement is that I have been getting so many inquiries about my six week boot camp. This is gonna be a really good one. This is a post quarantine kind of slim down for six weeks and getting ready for jumping back into the school year, whether you're actually going to be out of the house or stuck at home more. Um, this boot camp is gonna be pretty comprehensive and it's almost full. I have three spots left. I ended up shuffling some people around so I do have those three spots, but today is the last day to sign up for the six week boot camp and also get a free Trim Healthy Mama three month membership. That goes really well with the boot camp. It has tons of resources included. So if you haven't signed up yet and you wanna grab one of those three spots, boot camps always sell out every single time. So I put some links in the description of this video for you. I do have a payment plan available. I have a link with more information and then a link just to sign up. Um, today is the last day though to get the free three month THM membership included in your boot camp membership. So um, if you're interested in that, you can grab one of those three spots. Otherwise, Today is just 30 minutes. It should be pretty easy. Um, it's not very intense. I mean, we're making these things and remember you could, I mean, you could even make extra ground beef and freeze some of it. You could do a lot of this prep to just keep you going forward. So, um, so let's see someone saying that I stalled. Is anybody unable to hear me? I'm still here. Does any, is everybody able to hear me? It looks like my connection wasn't interrupted, so I don't know if Facebook is having a problem, but I'm sorry about that. If somebody wants to let me know if they heard me, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think through what I might've said when we stalled. I was basically saying we have this 30 minute session. That's what we're doing today. Um, and okay, it looks like I'm still there. So um, if you need more information about this, there's a pinned post with a link to sign up for the packet. We're just doing 30 minutes of prep today. Tomorrow's prep, I don't have the full packet for you because I didn't have my another book to pull from. So tomorrow for day two, we're just prepping some e-meals. I tell you exactly what we're doing. Um, day three is prepping the FP meals and then we're doing the, um, the actual days of eating after. And when we're following the days of eating, when you're doing your solid S day, you're doing your solid E day, you're doing your solid FP day, thank you guys for letting me know that you can hear me. Um, I just want to make sure you know when we get to that point, you need to be keeping track of how your body responds to each fuel type. You need to be paying attention. If you are exhausted on a certain fuel type day, if you are, if your weight goes up the next morning, that doesn't mean you don't eat that fuel type. That means you're aware that when you have FPs, maybe the next morning the scale shows that your weight goes up, but then it goes back down again. That's all. It doesn't mean you skip a fuel type. It just means you know how it affects you a little bit better. And that helps you to stay encouraged as you're moving forward on your THM journey. So that's what we're doing today. I'm so glad you're all here. I'm excited about this challenge because this is something that I see help people over and over and over again. I'm not even kidding. This is one of my favorite tools to use as a THM certified coach. Um, this is something that we go over briefly in boot camp is one of about 11 things that we do to stall stubborn weight, but this is a good one. So if you are, 
now I know I stalled there because my phone rang while I was doing the video. I'm sorry about that. Um, but if you struggle at all, if you're not losing, this might be something that helps you. And if you are losing well and you're not struggle, struggling, this can also be something that just helps you evaluate how the plan is helping you. So that's what we're doing today. If you wanna grab one of those boot camp spots, click the links in the post. If you wanna get this packet, click, click on the pinned post in the THM Facebook group that I have, the unofficial challenge group that I'm broadcasting live in right now. And if you have any questions, go ahead and post them here. I will be happy to answer them for you. Um, this is gonna be a good one. So enjoy this. If you do this 30 minute prep session and then you eat some of the food, just make sure you have enough left for your day of meals on day four. And I hope you all have a great day and I will be talking to you soon. Bye.